You okay, Joey? <sighs> yeah, yeah, now move over. I'm driving. Look, this is a very big day for me. <clears throat> Philly called. By the end of the day, I'm either gonna be a made man or I'm gonna be dead. What the fuck's going on? It's about money. This time it's gold, but it's always about fucking money. Look, you really sure you want to know what this is all about? Okay, kid. All right, but I better start at the beginning. All right, listen, when we got back from Nam, Eggs said he owed him. Eggs? You mean Johnny Eggs, right? I heard yeah, him. Yeah, Johnny Eggs beyond them. Anyway, listen, when we got back home, he said he had some big plans, and I went right along with him, because pretty much I had nothing else to do that day. Little Italy. That's where I first met Philly Lombardi. Hey, so you're Joey. I want to thank you for looking after my boy. He was talking about eggs. So I understand you're looking for work. Look, I got a little business in North Carolina you could take care of for me. See, what you gotta understand is, what most monsters do on a day-to-day -day basis to earn is mundane. Like, buying cigarettes cheaply in North Carolina and reselling them in New York. Without collecting any tax, of course. What can I get you, handsome? Coffee and a smile, sweetheart. Turns out the manager was a nom vet who'd got himself shot and sent home just before my tour had started. He liked to talk, and since I'd been alone on the road for days and made for a change, besides the waitress Doris wasn't entirely unpleasant on the eyes. Hey, you wanna stop locking the door there, Benny? We get all kinds around here, I'm telling you. Hey, ain't no one leaving till I give me a kiss from Doris. Oh, jeez, Benny. Told you before, Benny. Doris ain't interested. Now sit the fuck down or get out. You ready to order something, honey? Uh, I ain't sure. Well, we ain't a charity, mister. Yeah, yeah, give me a few minutes, okay? Really? You better believe it. Twenty-five dollars? Yeah, I could have made the fucking thing myself for that kind of money. Damn right, Jacob. Okay, Benny, I've just about had enough. Go on, get out of here. Benny, ain't that your brother's messing with that truck? That's my goddamn okay, truck. Folks, everyone stay in your seats and no one gets hurt. And don't you go getting any ideas either, partner. I, I got that you thing dead down, right. Benny. Oh, what is this ain't about you, Doris? No Shut son of a bitch threatens me or my customer. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, Benny. Joe, over here! Look, Benny's one of Weasel Waltz boys. If I know them, they'll be driving that truck of yours around to their place on the other side of the swamp to strip it clean. Come on, Joe, I got a spare gun you can use in the kitchen. Therese, lock up behind us and get Ernie on the phone. Yeah, Tell him we're yeah, on our way. I will. I couldn't fucking believe what was happening. If I didn't get that truck back, I was going to be a dead man. What the fuck's all the ruckus, boss? Ain't got time to explain, Bill. Go out front and see if the girls need any help, okay? I'll be back soon. Oh, and Bill, lock this door behind us, and don't leave the diner till help gets here, okay? Sure. Sure, boss. Joe, grab that gun over there on the side. I'll take you to Ernie's place. He's got a gun store not too far from here. He'll be able to help us. You got the gun, Joe? Come on. Get See down, Joe! These friends of yours? I didn't know it at the time, but there was a lot more to this than cigarettes. An innocent man had been killed here, and I had a feeling he wasn't going to be the last.
swear I can see something moving in there. Can't see jack shit. I swear a fucking coward is creeping around. Hey, Verola! You in there? Give yourself up and we'll make it quick! You guys take care of them, and we'll sort your cut out later, okay? No problem, boy. I got your cure right here. I figured this must have been Weasel Walt. Killing's a funny thing, kid. It can be the easiest of things, and can also be the hardest. You think if you target as a father, a brother, a son, even for a second, then you're a dead man. I was no stranger to guns, even in the early days. I've been to war, seeing guys die right in front of me by my own hand. Me, shooting and dropping a guy is as easy as breathing. Motherfucker! Sweet dreams, fucko. <laughs> When I reached the junkyard, more Weasel Walt's redneck goons were waiting for me. I just couldn't fucking understand why someone wanted me dead so badly. If the fucking inbreds thought I was gonna go running under a hanging car while they were at the controls, then they were even more stupid than I thought. <laughs> so much for redneck cunning. City boy. Well, fuck you right back. When I reached the gun store, there was no one around, and since I wasn't planning on getting myself killed, I thought I'd best announce myself. Ernie. Ernie, you in here? I'm here, boy. And just who the fuck are you? The name's Varola. Joey Varola. Sorry, son. I thought you was one of those no-good boys of weasels. Norris called to say you'd be here soon. 
Well, where's Merv? Uh, I'm afraid Merv didn't make it all the time. He's dead? Oh, fuck. Weasel Walt and his boys have gone too far this time. You know where I can find this guy? Yeah, but I got a more pressing problem, boy. While we stand here getting acquainted, Walt's boys are busy raiding my store. I ain't as young as I used to be, and sure could use a hand here. Way I figured it. The way to the swamp was through the old-timer's gun store, and if I was ever gonna get my truck back, his problem had just become my problem. Lead the way, old man. You want to find your truck? Go out that door and just keep on going. There's only one way through to the swamp from here. Glad I could help, old timer. Hey, enough of the old. Now you're gonna have to forgive me, cause I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do back there. Walt and his boys are no good thieves and liars. You go give them what they deserve, son. After the rednecks, you just time, huh? Watch your mouth, Finola. That's Varola, jerk off. Put it on your gravestone, prick. Whoever had sent these guys to look after me wasn't taking any chances. Seemed like half a fucking New York's wise guys had turned out just to see I didn't make it through the day alive. Dreams, fucko. See you in hell. <laughs> so, at last I reached the swamp. I just had to find the truck and I was in the clear, but as usual, things didn't go that easy. You saw a fucking Huey. In Carolina? Are you fucking with me? Well, it wasn't really a Huey, you fucking schmuck. It was a chopper, but 
I have this problem, see, I, I get these flashbacks. Sorry, Joe. I, I didn't mean no disrespect. Look, I don't know what the, the side of the chopper, the swamps, the fact that practically every motherfucker I met that day was trying to kill me. I don't know. One thing was for sure. My body might have been in Carolina, but in my head, I was back in Nam. And that's where this whole fucking thing started. Back in those fucking rat tunnels. It's not the first time I've had the flashbacks. Doubt it will be the last. Come on, come on, where are you? Come on, keep going, come on, Charlie, where the fuck are you hiding now? What? Well, like a lot of guys back then, I'd signed up for the war, but hey, I wasn't no patriot. I had different reasons. Things hadn't been going so well that day, and I'd been separated from the rest of my platoon. I was trying to catch up to them, but those fucking rat tunnels were crawling with Charlie. my fucking luck. The way out of the tunnels was blocked by a pile of fucking rubble. I needed to find a way to clear the exit, so I headed back into the darkness. <laughs> it all looks a funny thing. Just when you think the whole world's against you, you get lucky. From the gun emplacement's vantage point, I could just make out the shape of an undetonated bomb right in the middle of the pile of rubble that blocked my way out of the tunnels. Ever tell you my brother Petey had been a numb? Oh yeah. He'd been the heroic type. True patriot. Yeah, he signed up as soon as he'd got the chance. Me, I wasn't in any such fucking hurry. And then one day I come home to find my mother in tears. She was shaking all over, holding a picture of Petey. Patriotism had gotten him killed. Nah, 
I wasn't a patriot. I was there purely for revenge. When I eventually caught up with the platoon, they'd taken heavy losses and were coming under some pretty heavy fire. Hey, over here! You keep your head down! Ground support needed to get out for Bravo 2 Fox! That's when I first met Eggs. <laughs> he was on his knees crying like a baby. Ah, if there'd ever been a plot to that fucking war, he'd lost it. Come on, soldier, we gotta get out of here. No, 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 I ain't moving. Charlie's everywhere, man. We're fucking yourself. Fuck. Look, a Huey's on its way to the village, just up ahead. Look, you go if you want, man. I'm staying right here. You ain't staying here, so help me God, I'll fucking kill you myself if you don't fucking move right now. They coming? They coming to get us? What, are you fucking deaf or something? The Huey's coming to take us out of here. Now we gotta go before we can't fucking move for Charlie. Okay, mate, but I ain't going first. I'll follow you. I knew from the first time I met him that he was a coward. I know, Eggs played the tough guy, but when the chips were down, he was just a fucking crying baby coward. When I reached the village, the Viet Cong were dug in pretty tight. Huey was on its way, but we knew there was no way it was going to land in the middle of all that fucking crossfire. No way. Now, if we wanted out of there, we were going to have to clear the area hut by hut.
When we were safely on board the Huey, I remember Egg said to me, Hey buddy, don't go telling nobody about me losing it back there. I, I really thought I was a dead man. Hey, I didn't even get your name. Name's Joey. Hey Joey, I'm Johnny. Johnny Biondo. But everybody calls me Eggs. So that's why Egg said he owed you that. I didn't know you'd save the spot back in Nam. Yeah. Right now I wish I'd left the fucker to die. Yeah? I thought you said he was your friend. <laughs> he was. Eggs and me first saw the gold back in Nam. And since then both have become a real fucking pain in the ass. You didn't tell me yet what happened to Carolina. You ever get your truck back? So like I told you, I'd managed to get to the swamp. All I had to do now was catch up with this weasel Walt and get my truck back, but wasn't exactly all alone out there. Corolla's coming this way. Dolly while we unload the truck. Lock and load. You ever tried running when you're waist deep in leech infested mud? It's fucking impossible. I'll tell you, when the bullets start flying, you're a sitting duck. What? Stay down, you inbred son of a bitch. To make matters worse, this whole fucking swamp was home to some pretty ugly gators. If I don't get the truck back, Lombardi's gonna break my balls. Gonna let me pass, are you? You make one fine set of boots. Something was stopping the hut doors from opening, but I couldn't see where it was from where I stood. Rednecks don't know when to quit. I'm 
bad enough I ain't get back in there with those things around. Take my 12 gauge, it's over there. You're gonna need it, I'm telling you. The worst things in gators in these fucking swamps, fucker. By the time I reached the edge of the swamp, Weasel Walt and his inbred sidekicks were waiting for me. It's time for the fucker to pay. You heard the gunshots? The Italian is on his way. So you and the boys best stop the drinking and keep your eyes peeled. Will do, Walt. Well, make sure you do. Now I'm going out back to check on the truck. this guy want? Holy fuck, can't you give a guy a break? I couldn't believe it. the truck was right there in front of me, but this fucking chopper had me pinned down tight. figure out back then was just who the hell had gone to all this trouble I mean just why the fuck would someone want to kill nobody like me we're hit I'm gonna have to put it down okay abort the mission get this out of here yeah not so smart now huh you pussy fuck they already taken my rig now oh. this day cannot get any more messed up Shit, Joey. You lost Philly's cigarettes? Oh, I lost his fucking money. All right? This was definitely a very bad thing. Now, there was no doubt I had an obligation I had to fulfill. An obligation to both the mob and Philly. So, how come Philly didn't just pop you there and then? Well, he was pissed at me, sure, but he must have known I was good to have in a fight, you know? I've always been useful to Philly. He's always sent me to do the jobs no one else can do. Like what? The old Don had a printing press out in the flower district where they mostly printed girly magazines. Of course, it was all a cover for his counterfeit note operation. Feds had been paying the place way too much attention. So the old man decides to close the operation until the heat was off. Philly sent me to pick up the plates and take them somewhere safer. So I smashed him over the head with a chair. <laughs> so you get what you came for? Yeah, I'll be seeing you, fellas. FBI, freeze! Ah! 
So like I said, the feds have been watching this place, so it shouldn't have surprised me that they hit us when they did. You lost I've been caught with those plates that day, this whole counterfeit up. operation would have been blown wide fucking open. We can see you, Varola! Give yourself up! The fed snipers had taken up these high positions around the yard, and they were just too fucking far away for the shotgun to be of any use. Best I could hope for was to keep out of their sights and get to the gates in one piece. Come on, come on, reload, you fucker, so I can make a run for it. Whoa. Not good in diving, Joey. He's under the loading bay canopy. Give yourself up for all that. There's no way out. So far, so good. Thing is, this wasn't exactly a normal Fed operation. The guys on the ground were definitely not Feds. I recognized them. They were from the Corelli family. Drivers, all fire! At the time, I figured that the Feds had been using the Corelli just to get to us. I guess they figured there was no point the around them dying when they could kill two birds with one stone. Keep my head down. Well, they weren't gonna kill this fucking bird, I can tell you that. Their eggs turned up. Didn't think much about it back then, but his arrival was pretty conveniently timed. What the fuck's going on, Joe? Will you get the plates? Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Thing is, it was the old Don's fault any of this ever happened. He'd gotten sloppy, he was losing control. Philly knew it, and it wasn't too long before he's gonna do something about it. <sighs> I tell you, I was one big bundle of nerves as Eggs and me drove back to Philly's place. I thought my screw-up in Carolina and the fact that I just wasted a whole load of Corellis really meant the end for me. But as it turned out, Philly seemed pretty cool about it. You got the plates, kid. It would have been much worse if you hadn't. There was nothing you could have done about the feds, Joey. You did good, kid. Tell you the truth, he seemed more impressed with me than pissed at me. But listen, I told you before, this was all about money. The gold. And it was only yesterday it became clear to me where it was. I got my hands on it just before you turned up this morning, in fact. You shitting me? It was buried in fucking Calvary? Yeah. Been there for years. 
ever since it arrived in New York all the way from Nam. Shit. So what the fuck happened this morning, Joe? Well, I'll tell you what happened. At last, I found the coffin of gold. We were just about to make away with it when some unwelcome company arrived. Jeez, that's one fucking heavy coffin. Hey, Joe, how come we had to leave the hearse so fucking far away? All right, quit your jabber and let's get this thing moving. Shit, we got company! Rest in peace, fucker. Boss, keep your head down! Use the gravestones as cover! They got themselves a grave. Motherfucker! Too fucking early for this shit! Stay with the coffin, I'll deal with it. How they found out where the goal was, I don't really know, but I'm guessing they must have been tailing me for some time now. Get some! Do you have to listen to that shit so fucking loud? Hey, I love that tune! Reminds me of when I made love to your mother! Here he comes! This fuck. Go get him, boys. You know, I recognize some of the guys this morning. I used to work for Philly. Guess they had a change of heart. Stupid fucks. You okay, boss? Yeah, just about. Let's go back for the coffin before more trouble shows up. You're one lucky son of a bitch to still be alive, Joe. Yeah, tell me about it. It wasn't the first time I'd had a run-in with these guys. Over the years, they've taken more and more power in New York. Who? Oh. The Triad. The guys this morning weren't Triad, but they were sure working with them. There's always a power struggle going on with these guys, and to win those power struggles, you need money. Lots of money. 
One day I was called to a meeting with Philly. He told me I was gonna help him out with a little problem. Philly had decided to make his move at last. He was gonna take out the Don. He was gonna take control of the family. You were there when all that shit went down? Was I there? Yeah, you fucking right I was. Let me tell you something, I really made my bones that day. Joey, don't kill the old man. He's mine, understand? Not a problem, Phil. I can't fucking believe they got me stuck out here on the fucking lookout, dude. What the? Shit! A race! Will somebody please stop him before the whole fucking world knows we're here? Hey, Joe, over here! Joe, you see that bridge? If you can get across, you should be able to reach the delivery bay doors on the other side. You open them and we'll make our move. Eggs. Any idea how many guys the old man has in there? I ain't sure, buddy, but Philly says that since the running with the feds, the boss has made sure the place is pretty well guarded, but... I got faith in you, Joey. The old man's guys didn't know we were coming, so I decided to go in nice and quiet, work my way around the building, and clear the path for Philly and the rest of the guys. The place was crawling with the old Don's guys. Luckily, the deafening sound of the printing presses in the next room masked my intrusion. Friday's print, huh? Ah, somebody have mixed up the big titty mags with the lusty housewives editions. I guess I better go sort this shit out. Tom! These guys were covering each other's here. backs. If I hadn't been extra careful that day, I'd have been sent back to Philly in a body bag. Tom, you're gonna mix up the magazines again. You said they was all put out, ready for delivery, but not all in the same boxes. Okay, okay, already. I'll get right to it. <laughs> The door to the stairway out of there was locked, like they knew it was going to be trouble. All I could do was take these goons out quietly and see what happened next. As it turned out, they made it easy for me. Hey, buddy, you so much for the old man's security. man's goons up on the balconies, but they were just as fucking stupid as the ones before.
Be back soon, Petey. Gotta go pinch a loaf. <laughs> There was no fucking way I'd gotten that far without someone realizing what was going on, so the way I figured it, the sneaking around shit ended right there. It was time for some good old fashioned violence. Truth, the Skybridge should have been a fucking bloodbath. If they were gonna stop me anywhere, it should have been there, but, you know, a few hapless grunts were the only ones there to greet me. That was where the old man made his biggest mistake. Dad and trust in Philly, of course. At last, I'd reached the loading bay doors. It was time to let Philly and the guys in to hot things up a little. Fucking finally, Joe! Hey, Joe, you stopped the jerk off. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> idiot. Hey, nice job, Joey. Come on. Let's find the old guy and end this. You know where he is? There's an office up on the second floor. You done good, Joey. Now let's get in there and finish this thing.
gotta admit, I was expecting more trouble than this, but... I'd guess that the old man had pulled back most of his guys closer to the office to protect his skinny white ass. The old Don's office was just off one of the walkways above. I knew this is where he was gonna make his last stand. This was where his guys would be waiting for me. What's got to be has got to be. Is this what I taught you, Philly? You taught me the importance of tradition in the family. I'm going out the way I came in. Not unless you flew in through the windows. Man, I 
that's the day I really proved myself to Philly. I proved my loyalty to him, and that's when I started getting sent on jobs where before, you know, we normally send eggs. And eggs was okay with that? No, no way. So over time, eggs kind of distanced himself more and more from Philly and me, but we were way too busy to take much notice. Didn't you guys have more trouble with the feds after Philly had bumped off the old man? Oh, yeah. See, Philly wanted everyone to know that things were going to change. Now, ever since I'd collected the printing plates, the FBI had been watching us night and day, listening equipment, all that kind of stuff, from a building across the road. Philly wanted to send them a little message, and I was the delivery boy. This place had been a hangout for hookers as long as I can remember. After a few hands of cards and a bottle or two of Philly's best vino, some of the guys used to come over here to see the girls. Not me. Hey, Joe. Want some business today? Okay, okay, maybe I'd been here once or twice before, but that was just business. The elevator was out of service, probably through overuse, but then again, this place had seen a lot of visitors. Feds had themselves up on the first floor of the building overlooking Philly's place in Little Italy, room 106. Like rough, and the hookers, they were just helping the feds get through those long stakeouts away from the bureau and their wives. Apartment 106. This is where the feds had set up shop. I was just about to smash that machine to fucking little pieces when I heard a familiar voice. It was eggs. Excuse me, we got a problem. The trail's got cold again. This is taking a little longer than I thought. Well, your people covered their tracks too fucking well, so it's gonna take a little more time, okay? I guess I can't fucking believe you don't know where the fuck the goal was meant to end up. All right, look, we need to keep this quiet, okay? The last thing we need is every mobster in town knowing that there's a million in gold just laying around somewhere waiting to be picked up. Look, okay, okay, but we don't need anyone snooping around where they're not wanted. Keep things quiet and I'll do the rest, Kavish. Now, I didn't know who Eggs was talking to, but I had a pretty good idea what he was talking about. The gold from back in Nam. Anyway, I didn't really have time to ponder the matter. Philly wanted the wiretap taken out of commission. His so-called little message. Oh, man. I just had that girl over in 101. She did things my wife couldn't even begin to imagine. Hey, who the hell? Freeze! I told you before, I thought the feds were using the Corellis to get to us. Well, it wasn't that way at all. I found out later that the Corellis were the ones in the driver's seat. And then the shit really hit the fan. The door out of the room had been fucking locked, and the only way out of there was up to the rooftops. There he is! We'd never exactly seen eye to eye with the Corellis, but even Philly couldn't have guessed that they would have sided with the feds. Come on, no fucking way this was a legit FBI operation. Me. At the time, I wasn't sure which would be worse, getting caught by the feds having to tell Philly that his message had been a little louder than he'd wanted it to be. for you, fucko. <laughs> I'm on, Joe. Keep calm. Get across the rooftops into the next building.
Keep moving, Joey. Philly found out later that a deal had gone down between some bent feds and the Corelli family. The feds were on the take, and the Corellis were the ones doing the pain. Don't let him get away! It's time to get off the roof. Feds were all over the place, and if I didn't give them the slip soon, I was gonna run out of whatever luck I had left. fucking believe it. Not only were the feds crawling all over the place, but to add insult to fucking injury, the elevator was out of service. Fuck is out, then it's out of here, Joey.
and so I casually walked on down to the street below. Large crowd of onlookers had formed below, giving me the perfect chance to slip away from there unnoticed. When I got back to the club after my run-in with the feds, Philly was really pissed. I sent a little fucking message, Joey, to tell the fuckers to mind their own fucking business. Instead, you start a small fucking war. So after a whole lot of shouting, Philly tells me he had a contact who could make things right with the feds, but it was gonna cost, and he sure as hell wasn't gonna fucking pay. So a few minutes and a phone call later, Philly tells me, I have to get 50,000 that night. Now, Philly later told me he'd been pissed, not just because of my screw-up, but also because of the Orientals. You see, the, the triad and a certain Jade Lee have been causing Philly a lot of fucking trouble. Now, one day, years before Philly took control of the family, he'd called me up. Joey, I need you to do your thing again, kid. Those fucking Orientals ain't coughing up what's due. Get your ass down there and fix it, capiche? Philly sent me to see a lot of people during the early years. I was his, uh, his personal heavy, his persuader. They wouldn't play ball, he sent me. Most jobs went nice and smooth, easy money. This one was gonna become a real thorn in the family's side. Jade Lee. Beautiful and deadly. Now, Jade had been running the family business since her father passed away. Now, what most people didn't know was that Jade and the triad controlled ever-increasing areas of New York. I completely understand your situation, Mr. Verola. Indeed. I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude for the services you and your associates have provided. Unfortunately, this restaurant is under new management and your protection is no longer required. But please accept this small gift as a token of our gratitude. At the time, Jade had no idea who the fuck she was messing with, but she let us in. Well, it was clearly time to get the fuck out of there. Jade was obviously not willing to negotiate, and we hadn't exactly turned up expecting a war. When Jade's father, Chung Lee, had run things, he'd always towed the line. Always paid his dues. He didn't have any interest in making enemies out of the family. But Jade, now, she was a different Sweet fucking prospect fuck altogether. Oh, she had big plans for the triad and had no problem telling us exactly when we weren't welcome. See, Jade was an American, born and bred. The way she saw things, she had as much right to this turf as we did. In short, she was becoming a big fucking problem. There was no way I was getting out of there while Jade's guys were still crawling all over the joint. It was time to conduct some negotiations of my own. It's not too often I found myself on the wrong side of a bar, but just for that day I was willing to make an exception. Fuck, these bastards are relentless.
And then after I'd spilt enough blood for one day, I figured it was time to make myself scarce. I didn't know it then, but that wasn't the first run-in I'd have with Jade Lee in the triad. So that Jade bitch got away from you? You could say that. From that day, she gained more and more power in New York. But what happened about the 50 grand to pay off the feds? Oh, yeah, the payoff. Well, there comes a time in everybody's life when you make a decision. You're either in or you're nobody. Well, this was my time. Now, I had to get a hold of 50 Lodge that night to pay off Philly's contact and make things right with the feds. Now, maybe Philly figures I'm gonna go to the street for it, but forget it, that would've put me in a hole I'd never get out of. I had my own ideas. like to welcome all visitors to tonight's show. I know what you think. In New York Arena? Why, you lost your fucking marbles, Joey? Well, not exactly. The security in the arena were all on the Corelli's books. Fuck, some of these guys were Corelli's, born and bred. Fact is, the Corelli's practically run this place. And since they caused me a lot of fucking trouble recently, I thought it was only fitting that they were the ones who paid up. Okay, people, drop to the floor. Let's make this nice and quick. Listen to the man, you fuckers, and do exactly as Mr. Tiger says. Now let's have the cash from the safe and we'll be out of your head. You there. Be nice, and go open the safe for my friend there. Come on, Joe, grab the cash and let's finish this job. Fuck. It's only about 30 grand in here. Ah, uh, fuck! What are we gonna do now? What about the other ticket office? They'll have a safe there, too. We'll have to go for that one. Okay, all right. You, listen, you go back to the van and drive around to the garage. We'll meet you there. Tommy, come on. We got work to do. Tommy and me went way back. he started with Philly's crew about the same time I did. When I told him I had to get the money to pay off Philly's contact, Tommy had batting an eyelid. Tommy was a good guy. Good guy. One of the best. Tonight's show is about to start. For your information, once the show yeah. has started, there will be Just no Just like those bent feds before them, these the guys were all on the take. Let him have it! Come on, Tommy, keep up! Stay with me, Tommy! Come on, keep moving, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Tommy, keep up. Thing is, Tommy didn't keep up. Corelli's decided to raid on a parade, or... Tommy's to be more precise. For your convenience, we recommend that the exits to the sides and rear of the auditorium will allow you easier access to the parking area. Thank you. All right, as you can see, I'm not here for front row tickets, so listen up and listen good. You there. 
Open a fucking safe right now, so help me God, you won't see your next birthday. And you, the rest of you, just stay calm and stay still. All right, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now get on the floor. We managed to collect more than 60 grand that night. Enough for Philly's contact and a little left over for the guys and me. It was a pity Tommy never got to see so much as a dime, but it wasn't the time to mourn just yet.
So long, big shot. I see you in hell. <laughs> When I got to the garage doors, I found that they were locked up tight. You'd have thought I'd been through enough. Hey! That you, Joey? Where's Tommy? He didn't make it, Vinny. Look, just get the doors open and make it quick. Just give me a minute, Joey. We got some tools in the van. Shit! Do you see him? We got out of there just in time, but I didn't like leaving Tommy behind. He'd been someone I could trust in my life, and in my line of work, it's safe to say that you don't come across many guys like that. He'd been a good friend. In the end, I guess that's what got him killed. So with one call, the Feds and the Corellis were off our back. For a while, anyways. You didn't ask Eggs to help you get the 50 grand? Nah, after overhearing him on the wiretap, I wasn't sure what he was up to. You know, I couldn't trust him anymore. Besides, the payoff was my problem and I was gonna handle it. And you never faced up to him about what you'd heard on the wiretap? No fucking way. Now this was business. This was big. If he'd have wanted me to know about it, he'd have told me. Let me tell you, he'd just as soon put a bullet through me as the next joker when money was concerned. Some friend. Ways you don't know the half of it. Anyways, over the next few years, things between us and the Chinese got worse. You know, they'd hit us, we'd hit them back harder. They'd come back even harder than that, so... Philly decides to sit down with the other families to form a truce so we can kick the Chinese out of New York once and for all. It got that bad? For Philly to call the families together? Yeah, it was that fucking bad. Philly organized a meeting in Cha Cha Charlie's and everybody agreed to turn up. Uh, I should have known it was too good to be true. Joey, you take care of anybody who's not here for the Linguini. Capiche? It is Lombardi! Lombardi, I got a message for you! You're fucking dead! Joey, get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Clear me a path through these rat bags. These fuckos over there. Shoot that shit out of the way. Fucking 
be your best shot, bucko. In his day, Philly was formidable. No fucking surprise that the old Don kept him as close as he did. Yeah, sure, as Philly had gotten older, he put on a few pounds, but absolutely no one fucked with Philly Pies Lombardi. Not unless they were fucking stupid. Where are you, Varola, you yellow bastard? Let's go, let's go, move! Philly hadn't really trusted the other families, but by calling for a truce, he put the ball firmly in their court. Were they with us or against us? Well, they made that choice now, and Philly Lombardi was gonna make them pay. Get him, get him! Backstage to the kitchen. Come on, stop getting killed, you idiots. Here, son. No problem, boss. Just keep close. I got a feeling this is going to get rough. Yeah, in his younger days, Philly had done a lot of heavy work. Contract killings and the like. Keep moving, Philly. I don't think even he knows how many people he's killed. Hey, say it's 20 on purpose, or maybe just a few more when he got angry. <laughs> I tell you, Philly gets angry a lot. The only weakness I've ever known Philly to have is for kids. When Eggs' father disappeared years ago, Philly took both him and his mother in. Yeah. You see, Diana, Philly's wife, couldn't have kids, so... He raised eggs like he was his own son. And Johnny means a lot to him. Boss, you okay? <laughs> so why did he take me to chat to Charlie's that day and not eggs? Uh, maybe Eggs was too dear to Philly, or maybe, maybe just knew that Eggs couldn't cut it. I, I don't know. I'm sure as hell he never asked. At the end of the day, I was just doing my job. Shoot him in the head. Go get him, boys. Don't shoot! Come on! The cops are here, Barola. Down this alley. About fucking time, Johnny. Philly was really grateful for what I did that night. Like my own son. You hear what I'm saying to you? You was unfucking believable. I swear to the Virgin, kid. I'm so proud of you. And you too, Johnny. You did good too. So the other families had thrown in with the Chinese then? Fuck no. They hated the Orientals as much as we did, but they thought that Philly was weak by wanting to sit down and talk. They thought they could take us out of the picture. They thought wrong. Shit, Joey. How'd we ever let the fucking Chinese get so powerful? Truth? The families were getting old and lazy. Jade was forcing them out of their territory right under their noses and they never fucking noticed. We were just about the only guys that were gonna do anything about it. So what the fuck did we do about it? Well, some years ago, before the sit-down at Cha-Cha Charlie's, Philly had called me in. He was blowing a gasket. They ain't playing ball, Joey! He was talking about the Chinese again. This Jade Lee bitch ain't making a fucking monkey out of me any longer. Get the guys, get down there, and fucking bury her.
I want to see your boss now. Miss Lee has been expecting you, gentlemen. Ah, uh, Mr. Verola. How nice to see you once again. Unfortunately, I really have little interest in speaking further with you or Mr. Lombardi. Yeah, well, you better tell Miss Lee to get her... please see that our guests leave the premises. Very fucking funny. Jay, get your ass out here now! You owe us, and I'm here to collect. I owe you and that pathetic fat man you call a boss nothing. Jade obviously had no plans to pay up, so I was gonna have to do this the hard way. Oh, what? <laughs> no open coffin for you, fucko. <laughs> But I just knew that wasn't the last. Anybody home? Hello? Kai Chung. Anyone want to try? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I did try uh, to warn you, Joey. Uh, 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 Is that it? Is that all you got? Not quite, Mr. Barola. Ching <laughs> Jintan. room was obviously Jade's private collection. If she wouldn't come out of hiding to see me, I figured some wanton and very expensive destruction might just change her mind. Whoa, this shit looks very expensive, Jade. Now, now, Mr. Verola. There's no need to take out your anger on helpless inanimate oh. objects. That collection took my father years and millions of dollars to put together, Mr. Verola. Yeah, sorry about that. I just get kind of pissed when people don't pay their and dues. do you always get what you want, Mr. Verola? Yeah, pretty much. Now let's talk about the money, shall Today's we, Today's your Ms. lucky Lee? day, Joey. I've decided not to kill you after all. You're too kind. Not at all. But I do want you to deliver a message to Mr. Lombardi for me. My money-paying days are over. 
as will be Mr. Lombardi's if he ever crosses my path again. I'm hoping I never see your face again, Mr. Verola. Now someone throw this piece of trash out of my office. When I eventually delivered Jade's message, Philly wasn't exactly pleased. This bitch had just jumped the line to public enemy number fucking one. Over the next few years, we clashed with the Chinese more and more. They were becoming big fucking trouble, and all because of the gold. Not sure they didn't know where it was, but they sure as hell hadn't forgotten about it. But they weren't the only ones looking for it. You mean eggs? Yeah, eggs. Yeah, he was looking as well. He must have been trying to find it ever since we got back from Nam, but he could never figure out where it was. So how the fuck did you know where to find the gold, Joey? I'm at the club yesterday. You know, some of the guys are listening to this uh, radio program about the 20th anniversary of the first moon landing. And I don't know, somebody asked me what I was doing on that day 20 years ago. And that's when my mind started playing tricks on me again, and all of a sudden I was back in Nam. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Tranquility, we copy on the ground. We got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Mortuary duty is not a nice job, but as I found out, dead GIs weren't the only thing coming out of that building. Oh, Johnny, we're not supposed to be in here. What are they gonna do? Send us to Nam? Tell me what's going on here. Stay close, kid. I'm gonna show you your future. You see that, Joe? That's fucking gold. The coffin's filled with fucking gold. This one's another Calvary. This one's another Calvary. I, I didn't even think about it then, but... Eggs must have never heard what the guy said, and, and to be honest, I didn't pay much attention either. Now, the bigger things are about to happen. Shit, come on, let's get out of here. You two, load up your weapons. We got incoming. Charlie's already in the base. Get moving! So that's how you get Vietnamese gold into New York. You zip it up in a body bag, throw it in a casket, and voila. One dead and nameless GI destined for Calvary. But why the gold was ever buried, I don't know. Face it, who'd ever go and fucking bury a fortune in gold on purpose? Nah, I think at some point the plan must have gone all wrong. Somebody, somebody got greedy or somebody talked and they'd have done better keeping their mouth shut. Nah. But the fact remains that it ended up six feet under. I should never have signed up for this shit. Okay, you clear the west side of the compound and meet me out front. Let's go! Truth is, I don't think I'll ever know why the gold ended up getting fucking buried, but it did. Anyway, I don't really care, but as far as I'm concerned, it belongs to the family now. That's all I need to know. It's just a pity Johnny doesn't see it that way.
Remember I told you before that Philly had taken in eggs as a kid when his father disappeared? All right, well, that's not exactly the whole truth. See, Johnny's dad had been a two-bit mobster trying to put on a $100 smile. He'd always been in Philly's shadow, and he didn't really like it. So one day, after a whole lot of vino, he told Philly exactly what he thought of him. Yeah, that was the last fucking thing he ever did. Deep, man, mate! I'll fuck you right back. See, Eggs is just like his old man. He's filled with the same self-doubt and insecurity his father was. It's in his fucking blood. But when he laid eyes on the gold, I can just imagine what thoughts started running through his head. He thinks the gold is his way out. Instead, it's gonna be the death of him. Johnny's never stopped thinking about what we saw that day. When he talked about his future, he hadn't really meant our future. In his mind, the future he talked about, the gold, was all his. Until that flashback to Nam, I'd forgotten what the GI in the mortuary had said. This one's another Calvary. <laughs> if I'd have remembered that when I overheard eggs on the wiretap, I'd have known exactly where it was. Calvary's a pretty big fucking place, Joe. How'd you know which grave it was in? It came to me all of a sudden, the date, the moon landing, July 69. How could I have been so stupid? I don't get it. I just had to find a GI who died like a day or two before the moon landing, and that would be the date on the gravestone. That's where the gold would be. Why are we stopping, Joe? We need to know where Eggs is taking the gold, so we need to stop here. Besides, I got some unfinished business to take care of. You wait here.
Sarge, he'd secured your pack and pistol, so I just did one of them out nice and quiet. I can get this parade on a roll. Had enough fun. Guards, dispose of the single. Oh.
You look like a desperate man, Mr. Verola. I think you need to calm down before you have an accident. Come on, you know why I'm here, Jade. Just tell me where Eggs is taking the gold and I'll be out of your hair. Ha! Huh. Don't think you gunning your way up here will scare the information out of me. Face the facts, Joey. Kill me, and Lombardi doesn't get his precious gold, and Johnny Eggs wins. In short, you are finished, Mr. Verola. Guards! I got no intention of killing you, Jade, but before all this is over, you're gonna tell me exactly what I need to know.
Enjoy what time you have left. I must leave. I'll give Johnny Eggs your regards. I needed to know where Eggs was taking the gold, and I figured Jade would know. And she just told you? Took a bit of persuasion, but yeah, she told me all right. Eggs is taking the gold to the docks. You saying Eggs is in bed with the Triad? For fucking years now. And behind Philly's back. You know, a few years ago, Eggs went missing. Yeah, I heard. Some of the guys said he'd been Bullshit. whacked. Bullshit. He fucking betrayed me and Philly. That's what happened. See, Philly had connections. Connections with arms dealers. So he'd arranged for me and Eggs to pick up a shipment down at the docks. I feel he sent me an eggs because he wasn't sure who else he could trust anymore. You know, some of the guys had believed all that shit up from the other families about Philly being weak. Now they'd cut and run. Chicken shit pussies. They'd get theirs. Eggs' recent behavior had been causing me some concern. He'd vanish for days, not tell anyone where he was going, didn't hang around the club much anymore. I'm not even sure Philly actually trusted Eggs. I sure as hell didn't. Okay, you guys understand what you gotta do? Yeah, no sweat, Johnny. We meet this arms dealer guy and check the shipment of shooters is okay. You got it. Hey, why aren't we packing, Johnny? Philly himself vouches for this guy. Relax, will ya? You look nervous, Joe. Relax, you got my word, okay? That was the first sign that Johnny knew more than he was telling. I thought me and Paulie was meant to be on lookout, Johnny. Hey, quick up. There's a fucking chain of command, do you understand? Philly only wanted me and Joey to do this. Besides, you look like you need a fucking exercise. Hey, look, if you guys don't want in, you can fucking leave right now. Jeez. Okay, we're in. We're in. Go on, then. Get your asses in there. We ain't got a fucking day. You hear that? Hear what? Exactly. It's too fucking quiet. Look, I don't like this either, but Philly says this guy's a good fellow. Hey, Joe, you really trust Eggs? Just shut the fuck up and keep your eyes open, Paul. I mean, he was right, of course. We shouldn't have trusted Eggs. If a dim-witted fucker like Paul could see through Eggs' behavior, then I should have known something bad was about to happen. Isn't 
this arms dealer guy meant to be up there? Ain't no sign of him. I don't fucking like this. Get a move on, let's get up there. Whack this guy and his whole fucking get, get, crew. Down, I hope the weapons are over there. Whoever took these guys out might still be around. There they are, just like they said they'd be. Kill them all. Now what are they doing? There he is. Alive. Got it? Thing is, if it had been the easy job Egg said it was going to be, then he'd have been in there instead of me and the guys. He'd have been there to conclude the deal with the arms dealer. The fact that he wasn't spoke fucking volumes to me. I don't know. To be honest, I suppose we knew we were walking into a trap, but I, I had to know if Johnny had turned bad. I needed to see it for myself, you know? If he could betray the man who'd saved his worthless fucking life, then he wouldn't think twice about betraying the whole family. I needed to know for sure. I 
knew some of these guys. Just a few months ago, we'd have been playing poker together, and now they were food for the fishes. Fuck them, they got theirs. So I left the warehouse, headed back to the truck, only the truck wasn't fucking there no more. Eggs had gone and left me to die. Well, now I'm pretty fucking sure that Eggs had killed the arms dealer and organized the ambush. He'd been wanting me dead for years. I guess he figured that since I'd seen the gold as well, that wasn't a good thing. So where did Eggs go? Fuck knows. I got back to the club, no one had seen me. One thing was for sure, Philly was fucking furious. I took a few of the guys down to the docks to clean up the mess and pick up the weapons. And he never showed his face again? Eventually. At the time, he'd completely disappeared off the radar. Yeah, we looked for him for weeks. Rumors started saying he'd been killed, and I didn't buy it. But Joe, you said Eggs has got the gold now. He was in Calvary this morning? Yeah, he was there. Of course, he had others doing the dirty work for him. He's a fucking coward. Always was, always will be. So how'd he get away with the gold then? Shit, I had this day all planned. Get the gold, get it to Philly, get me. It hasn't really turned out like that. After the first party in Calvary this morning, I guess we were safe and sound, but that was just before you turned up. You okay, boss? I guess wrong. Yeah, just about. Let's go back for the coffin before more trouble shows up. You're gonna pay with your lives. <clears throat> hey, boss, over here. He's Barilla. Don't let Barilla escape. At first, I didn't know for sure that Eggs was there that morning, but this thing had his stench all over it. You know, it's funny, I've been thinking about Johnny just before the first attack. How he'd have reacted if he knew I got to the gold first. As a kid, the thing that made Johnny different was his temper. You know, when he got angry, he just did crazy things. He, he was more reckless back then. Go he never shy away from a fight, regardless of the odds. <laughs> For some reason I can't remember now, Johnny told me he'd gotten into a fight with a neighborhood gang. And during the fight, some fucker had cracked him over the head with a metal pipe, put him in the hospital for weeks.
Anybody who'd seen Johnny fight said his brains must have been scrambled to try and take on a whole street gang. And when he was released from the hospital, everybody started calling him Johnny Scrambled Eggs Biondo. Fucking grenade in your head! Fucking egg. Oh, my brother works for the military. You know what? I think after that fight, something in Johnny changed. That recklessness was gone. He'd become scared and never got over it. Yeah, sure, everybody was real wary of him from then on, but... I mean, everybody was scared of Johnny, but tell you the truth, the fight had just gone out of him. I staggered out of the bell tower, I immediately recognized him from way back in South Carolina. All those years ago. And then I saw him. Well, I'd been busy fucking killing half of New York's criminal fraternity. Eggs had been sneaking around in the background looking for the gold. Finally found what he'd spent most of his worthless life looking for. So that was the same hitman from way back in Carolina? Yeah. Eggs had wanted me dead all the way back then, but he was too much of a pussy to do it himself. So where's Eggs been all this time? How the fuck do I know? But a few years after his disappearing act, he showed up again. We got ourselves heavy weapons now, and we were starting to scare the shit out of the other families and the triad. The war on the streets was going our way at last? Oh, fuck yeah. After a few years, we had him on the run. Then we got word that representatives from the triad and a couple of the families were meeting in Chinatown to discuss their problem. We thought we'd show him just how big that problem was. I was even starting to think that the rumors about eggs might be true. You know, that he'd been whacked. But rumors have a way of being suddenly dispelled. Long time no see, Joey. Been a while, Johnny boy. I see your taste in friends has changed. It's over, Joey. The old ways are over. Philly's finished. Look, I didn't want it to end like this, Joe. A couple of years too late for you, buddy. Drop it, wise guy. Eat late, fucker! Uh. Kill the roller and his whole crew! And get me and the leaders the fuck no. out of here! I never thought I'd see the fucking day when the families would stoop so low as to consort with the triad, but... Like I said before, they gotten weak. And even they had started to realize that the balance of power had shifted. But not in their favor. Eggs is gone, Joey. Oh, who the fuck screwed up, Jimmy? We were supposed to ambush these pricks. Fuck knows, Joey. Can't trust any son of a bitch these days. Listen, we gotta take out the three leaders before they escape. Philly says there's a representative from the triad and two compos from the other families in there. They ain't come alone, Joey. There'll be a goddamn army of guys in there. Yeah, well, it's a safe bet they know we're here by now. Come on, let's do this thing. Should I? Joey, the M60! Philly had wanted me to send another one of what he called his little messages, but this time it was to the triad. I mean, he didn't really give a fuck about the other families anymore. He knew where the real threat came from. First on my hit list was the triad boss. He decided to make a stand in the store. You, you, and you, go take this fucker out! 
Much to take care of him. Choose the Bahoida. Hey, boss! He's a security boy, boss! They're pretty good. This guy was one of the capos. One of his goons was trying to bash down a door to let him out. I had to finish him before he got away. So much for him. I can't say I was exactly surprised that Johnny was fraternizing with the Chinese. I mean, he might be a fucking coward, but he ain't stupid. If they're so obviously trying to kill me, he had nobody else to run to. This guy's still alive, boss. We gotta get you out of here. By the time I reached the last cop, he practically shit his pants and was trying to get out down the fire escape. to say he didn't get away either. After I prematurely concluded their little meeting, I headed back to Philly's place. The news that Eggs had sided with the triad didn't really shock Philly, but I could see in his eyes that Eggs was now dead to him. And that's the last time I saw Johnny Eggs. Until today. So I guess when you get the gold back, you're gonna be a rich man, Joey. Oh, you got a lot to learn about being part of a family, kid. This ain't my money, it's not the Triad's money, and it's certainly not fucking Eggs' money. It's the family's. Eggs don't get that yet, but he will. By the end of the day. Money ain't gonna turn me around, it's up to Philly as to who gets what. Why are you telling me all this, Joey? Because you need to know what the fuck you're getting yourself into, kid. My blood, my nephew. And I don't want you walking in blind and fucking clueless like I did. Okay, we're here. Now listen to me. You wait here, and if I'm not back in an hour or trouble comes this way, you get the fuck out of here fast, Gavish. You gonna be okay? Yeah, sure. Sure I am. How the hell do I get into this place? Huh. This'll do nicely. Ah, New York. What a view. Suck on this. Now I wonder where Johnny's taking the gold. You guys knew I was here. 
was on my way, huh? Shutter is my way out to the dock side, but I need to get to that fucking switch in the office to open it. The door's locked from the inside. What a fucking surprise. I should be able to drop down into the office from the gantry level above. Should be able to get into the office from up here. Get myself fucking killed first. <laughs> now, where's that switch? Ah, here we go. Copy that down, huh?
Jesus, this really stinks. And it's not just the fish. I told you he'd be fucking coming, so stop him now! Johnny, this is gonna end real bad for you if you don't stop this shit right now.
Johnny, you fucking idiot. The gold's mine, Joey, it's mine! The gold is all yours. I got the fucking gun here, buddy, and you've got two broken legs. You wanna talk? Shall we? we can share the gold, you know, 50-50. What do you say, buddy? 50-50? What about Philly? Philly? Come on, Philly don't need to know about this. This is just between you and me, shall we? Look, Philly, Philly took you in, Eggs. Looked after you after your father went missing. This is, this is how you repay him? Philly's weak, Joey. We can run this whole show a lot better than he can. Think of the gold, Joey. Think of the gold, we'll be rich. Remember how I said I owed you? Yeah, you've been a true friend. It's over, Johnny. I heard everything. Come on, Joey, I was just kidding around, Joey! Finish this fuck, Joey. Come on, Joey, finish this now! Joey, do it now, or I swear to the Virgin, I will. It's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, by the time the cops turned up, we were out of there. Eggs' death had really shocked Philly. I mean, he and Eggs were almost blood, you know, and I killed him. Even after Eggs' treachery and the fact I just delivered Philly and millions of gold, I ain't sure if he's gonna make me or whack me. But I guess I'm about to find out. Kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, 